Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arkham... Batman Arkham Knight Prelude comic number 7. So we're continuing our Arkham Knight Prelude comic series. So, let's take a look at the cover because the cover is pretty cool. Gotham Reborn. Nightwing, Robin. Although Robin has hair in this, normally he does it in the games. Shaves. And then, you know, regular advertising on that. <laughs> Alright, let's crack this open. Let's see what we got here. Arkham City. Ooh. Half a carton. Come on, come on. No whammies, no whammies. Ah, I don't know about this town, Alice. Seems like you can't count on people throwing away anything good. Whoa, holy crap! I walked into that one, didn't I? Well, I know what Alice would make me do. I'll say this, big guy. You're definitely the weirdest thing that ever followed me home. Well, except for that Joker dog a couple of years back. Gonna take a few shortcuts to my place. There you go, down the hatch. When I'm done with you, you'll call, they'll call you Superman. Who are... Hey, it looks like my jokes are good for something. Name's Archie Friedman. And you, my friend? Should not have eaten that soup, Batman. What are you... Whoa, Nelly. Just kidding. Relax. Well, not about the soup. Actually, I'm a horrible cook. My wife, Alice, she never let me near the kitchen. Bane... What happened to him? No idea, but I found you beat to crap when I was out dumpster diving. Some big explosions in the neighborhood last night, guessing you were in one of them, huh? I was. This you? Yep. Fifty pounds lighter, me and my Alice. Couple weeks after we started dating, I was a brand new usher working at the Monarch. You remember that great old place? Huge screen, three balconies. I do. Yeah, well, it turned into a wide screen dump. Whole city followed toot sweet. But I guess you already know that. Been hoping you were gonna turn it around. I'm working on it. I know you are. That's why I've stayed here in the, what I guess everybody's calling the Arkham City District. Met my Alice here in Gotham. Married here, lived here. She even died here. I want to see our city shine again. And stories I hear about you make, make me think it just might. Lots of folks here in the district, they don't think you're real. Me? Hell. I never much cared one way or, either, or the other. Batman doesn't need to be real for me to believe in him. Rise and shine, old man. Time to pay the toll keeper. Ah, damn rent. Hope you had a good week digging through the garbage, you senile old coot. And if not, well, it's a hundred feet to the ground. <sighs> Stay inside. I'll handle. Kid, kid, for your, for your sure got a concussion, a couple bruised ribs, a dislocated shoulder, and God knows what else, ailing you. These two guys are ex-goons. 
for somebody or somebody or another. All of us here in the building pay, pay him for letting us stay here. If not with money, then with stuff. Knock, knock, Grandpa. Let's go before we knock this door down. Let me help you get... Let me help you get... Help me by laying low until I get them out. They usually take something and move on to the poor next bastard. It's more important for this city that you're back in action sooner rather than later. There's my favorite wrinkled leech. Hear you talking in here, old man. Got company? Nah, just grabbing the day away with Alice. Just grabbing the day away with Alice. Well, ain't you just the creepiest son of a bitch ever. You must have been real sweet to put up with your dumbass. Whoa, she was hottie. You look like a dweeb. Well, maybe we need to rescue her from having to smell your rotten egg ass. I mean, unless you got, say, 300 bucks hidden somewhere in this dump. <clears throat> what do you say, Wrinkles? How much is old Alice worth? If I see you here again, <clears throat> you'll see me again. This entire building is under my personal protection. <clears throat> Archie, I'm sorry about your picture. Are you kidding me? Alice would love that. The look on their rodent faces... That was awesome. Now come on. You're still hurt and you're not leaving till I get till it gets dark, so sit down. You got it. But you have to do one thing for me, Archie. Anything, name it. Tell me more about you and Alice, and what Gotham used to be like back when you were young. Ah, oh, see, now you're in for a treat. My ass was the only thing prettier than this city in the, in, on a spring morning. Gotham City. In oh, Parkway. You're all clear, Turtle. One, Parkway traffic's been re redirected. Good. Sooner we deliver this package to Maxim, Maximum sooner I feel like I can breathe again. Man, all this crap with Bane's escape. The other night is playing hell with our gene pop. Let alone the real crazies. I hear Cash joking that we're running out of places for these guys to escape from. I guess the good news is that no one, no matter how far they get away, they keep coming back to us. Take down a hell, causing it to crash into an armored vehicle, freeing the flesh inside, freeing the flesh inside, fracturing in wind speed, factoring in wind speed. Should be a piece of piss. Holy crap! Falcon's down! Evasion! Get off the road! <sighs> Would it kill you to say nice shot? Let's face it, even you could learn something from me. And I wish you'd learn from me how to tone it down a notch. Good! Say it! Nice shot! I wouldn't kill you! Give me any ideas. You want to do the talking here? Happy time, mate. Good day, Killer Croc. And welcome to the all new Suicide Squad. I'll tell you, Wayne. That guy's got a hell of a job just cooling his jets all night and waiting for you to bop around town. 
Get back behind the podium and answer the question already. Uh, what's the point? I'm just gonna piss people off when I tell them the truth. That is the point, Jim. You're going to make them mad with your disarming, gruff honesty. And they'll respect you for it. Commissioner, what do you tell people who say you've let the police department de deteriorate while you let Batman do all the dirty work? What people? Who the fuck is saying that? You people have no idea the department I was headed where the, no idea the department I was headed handed when I took this job. Hell, some days I think that if I were if it were up to me, I'd fire everybody and just give Batman a damn badge. Be better than the gr grifters with a badge I have to call a police force. Uh, not that Batman exists. I think he's one of those urban legends. <laughs> mm. And did I mention I have a beautiful daughter and she's single? Oh my god, Dad. You're the worst debater ever. I second that. Third. And just double-sided ad there. You knew that going in, sweetie. Why don't we stick a pin in the debate prep for tonight? I'm not used to needing to convince people I'm right. Usually I just tell them. That's bull, Jim. You alone have convinced people all over the city that it's worth fighting for. Arkham City would have spread out to the entire state if it wasn't for you and your men on the ground. Much as you don't want to hear it, you were an inspiration to the people of Gotham. Take this debate prep seriously, or not. It's up to you. But know that no matter what, if you're mayor, commissioner, even the town dog catcher, there's no way in hell that you can stop this city from needing you. Bruce could sell ice to Eskimos. You joke, but I've seen him do it. Made a fortune. Tim and I are heading out. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow night. Okay, I'll order some Thai. And try not to bounce off any more walls, Bruce. We can't hold a prep meet in the ER. I mean, who the hell plays squash anymore anyway? Nice speech, boss. Gonna take a few more to keep him loose and get him out of his head. It'll probably take as long as it takes you to ask Barbara out again. Ouch. You're a nice man. I was waiting all night for you to make your move and nothing. In all my years as a billionaire playboy, haven't I taught you anything about women? Sir, you and Master Tim should have all the clearance you need here. Thanks, Alfred. Have a good night. When do I not? Hmm. Head and lungs, down they go. Lawton? What the hell are you doing? This ain't no free fire zone. You of all people know I feel how I feel about shenanigans. <clears throat> oh, so what do you want us all for, dollface? If not shenanigans, we got croc like you asked, and the money was good. Yeah, but I could be so much. It could be so much better. That's what our new Suicide Squad's all about. This is going to be the best super team ever. A team that knows you can't get up without first going down. And none of those government 
Nudniks threatening to blow our heads off. You and Penguin got a hideout in the sewers? Croc here is going to feel right at home. Nope, sorry, Cracky, but we're going in even deeper. <sighs> here we go. Gentle germs, negative 47th floor. Ladies, lingerie, toasters, snorkels, and Wonder City. This town's hustling and bustling, boys. Including a place where everybody knows your name and you can get anything you want. Gentlemen, it's good to see you again. Seems like just yesterday, Amanda Waller had us all at each other's throats. But the tides changed quickly in Gotham, so let me cut right to the chase. Out of respect for your time. So what do you say, all new Suicide Squad? Who wants to kill a billionaire? Rain most in the morning, Bruce. But the sun will be up just in time for you to check on the new Gotham Rouge Bridge. So yay, you get to actually see real people working. Or not. 110 111 You are a ridiculous human being I am allowed to remain to remind you that I do pay your ridiculous salary Yes, of course. That was rude of me. I meant to say you are a ridiculous human being, sir. Also, your left knee buckled a pinch on the dismount. Sticks and stones can break my bones. But words... <clears throat> Eat and get dressed so I can have at least one morning this month not spent apologizing for your scheduled may-care attitude. This is good. Give the rest to Chauncey when he's done with the front hedges. Why do I bother doing nice things for you? Habit. Also, I need 20 more minutes. Chauncey, top of the morning. How was breakfast? Very good. Mr. Wayne, that was kind of you. Hey, it's a small price to pay for your Bergamvala. He's gone. Told you what I want. Give it to me, and your stuttering ass lives. Then you leave and never come back. Don't even return my his calls. Believe me, he won't miss your. St Shanky lang landscaping skills for a moment. He's been on this erector set all frickin' day. Look at him. The billionaire's bridge billion builder trying to look all working class. Ah, uh, even the foreman or four lady thinks he's impressive. I think I'm gonna cry at the sheer Americanness of it all. Oh, I can't wait to kill this. Kill his man of the people arse. Alright. Alright, have we. Have we had enough peeping Wayne for y'all? When the hell do we get to go all suicide squad? I forget, you're from England or something. <clears throat> Deadshot! What the f are you doing over there? Nine hours is a long time. 
Ew. Don't you know employees are supposed to wash their hands before getting back to work? So what did I miss? Hey, hold on to nothing, mate. Lots of pretending of a rich guy doing the heavy lifting. That Pennyworth guy's getting back in the car to pick up, pick his prints up. So it'd be nice <clears throat> if our revitalized little squad could go earn the penguins' money now. Please, I can't sit through another minute on this roof. We got 137 seconds until the car goes at the control point. Like we discussed, local road closures make their path very restricted. They have no choice but to drive right where we want them. Boomerang, you heard Mr. Deadshot. The mission is go, go, go. We're called the Suicide Squad. Let's go out there and earn the name. Are you daffy twit? I don't think that means... Don't be ruining my moment, Boomer Butt. Perfect. Home sweet home. And one step closer to justice being served. I may not be able to always track Batman's movement moves. But knowing Bruce Wayne's coming and going will get me halfway there. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Get your asses off the streets. This here is a crime scene. Or at least it's gonna be. Sheesh. What a nutcase. Kind of makes me wish we all had a, a couple of Waller's old neck bombs, don't it, Lawton? Nothing ever makes me miss anything about Waller. Give me a carter, deadhead. Don't presume to give me orders, girl. <sighs> oh, Bruce. You've been staying away from me for way too long. I already took your lawyer's finger just for giggles. So what body part are you willing to donate to the Harley's Flesh Air, Fresh Air Fund? Come on, roll the window down, Wayne. The all-new Suicide Squad is waiting on you. I can't promise we'll make it quick, but I promise it'll be painful. So you like cutting body parts off innocent people, mm hmm? Oopsie. We got the wrong... <laughs> Suicide Squad. <clears throat> now that's a name you can remember and live by. Alright. And that is all. So if you want to see me continue this, like, subscribe, comment. I look at all comments. And I will catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.